Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya, and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this button and go to this next page and then come back to the previous page. So it's a very simple thing. Uh, basically, we are trying to create a button with click event that takes you to a different page within the same application. So this is a Xamarin form that we're going to use and this is Windows 10 environment. I've built this Android application using Xamarin fonts template, which is very simple. And here is the main page. So we are at the main page right now. You can see, oops, let me put this aside. So now you can see These are things that I have. Welcome. These are few entries. Then I've got button. So on this button, I have an event. So when I click on it, this takes me to this this page, which is here contacts page, and here I've got a few things. But I do not have this back to previous page button on here. This is by default Android's feature. If you build native application so you get it by default so to create this event or this feature in your android application using xamarin forms the first thing that you need to do you need to set this the navigation page where this event is occurring so to do so we simply go to this app.xaml.cs and you have to make these changes basically this is not the same when you create the application so you simply have to add this new navigation page new and then main page main page is this one uh, so you basically trying to say to the android system that this is going to be the navigation main page where this event is happening okay so this can create this back to previous button by default all right so this the second thing that you need to go ahead and do create this button so go to main page and create this button the only thing you need to do is create this clicked attribute and as soon as i clicked just press twice the tab button and this will auto generate this name and also we'll go ahead and generate click event method in the corresponding page which is going to be a c sharp file for the same main dot xaml file so this will create in main dot main page xaml.cs main page dot xaml.cs which is here and this is going to create this much only you will have to add this so simply say navigation dot push a sync new and then the page where you want to go upon this click the true is basically you're saying put the navigation in it so this is a navigation happening if you just erase it or say false the, the navigation won't take place in this case so very simple stuff but if you don't know these things you'll keep getting the messages the error messages so that's it for this video it's a very simple let me quickly recap it so make sure you set your re, uh, main page navigation as navigation page very first thing then you go ahead and create this button with this click clicked attribute and when you just type clicked just press uh, as soon as your cursor reaches here between these two quotation marks then just press this twice the tab button and this will create this method as well and simply type navigation dot push a sync sync yeah and new wherever you want to take this event to and then true if you need the navigation uh, animation so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, just leave in the comment below. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.